not gonna lie, this was a very tough video to shoot to get what I wanted done. You will see I changed outfits multiple times. It's because it took four days to shoot this video. I have gloves on, I have safety goggles on, I have this mask on, not because of the pandemic, but because of this stuff. Oh. So the past four days, I have had my eyes on fire, my nose on fire, my genitalia on fire. I burnt multiple specimens of this on my grill. I literally caught my oven on fire this morning. I heard an explosion. I looked over. My oven is on fire. Uh, finally, I got it all figured out. And now I have what is very close to pure capsaicin in these little ramekins right here. Real quick, I wanted to ask you to subscribe, please. Click on notifications. You'll get a, a, an alert every time I pump out a new video. It's about one a week. Uh, also, you can check out my shorts. Uh, those are 15 seconds. Not these shorts. I'm wearing Under Armour shorts right now, which the creator of Under Armour went to University of Maryland, as did I. But anyway, uh, shorts, it's YouTube's answer to TikTok. Uh, you can see I've, I've put one or two, or maybe sometimes three short videos out each week. A little behind the scenes stuff, little stuff that I, I don't want to put on the YouTube channel. It was about seven years ago, a couple buddies and I really got into this hot pepper kick. We printed out this giant Scoville scale. That's how you measure hot peppers. We started eating hot peppers. There are three videos of us or me or all of us eating hot peppers. One of them is private. So the only way you can see that video is if you click on the link as it goes up here. The first one is going to be when I first ate a habanero. The second one is going to be when the three of us ate a scorpion pepper. Maybe it was two of us. And then the third one is going to be when three of us ate the Carolina Reaper pepper, which was a horrible, horrible experience. And I actually retired from hot peppers after that one. But I wanted to make pure capsaicin. I wanted to pull capsaicin out of the pepper. I went online, I found a few things and conducted an experiment. And that's what this is going to tell you. And at the end, you're gonna see how much I created. All right, so capsaicin is the chemical inside of hot peppers that brings that sting to your mouth. Capsaicin is measured like this. Pure capsaicin, 16 million units. In a pepper, they take the mass of the capsaicin over the mass of the pepper, divide it, and then multiply it by 16 million. A bell pepper has zero, no capsaicin in it at all. We may have a jalapeno that's around three to 6,000. Uh, cayenne pepper will get into the tens of thousands. A habanero will be 250,000 to the red savina at half a million. Then when you get to the ghost pepper, you're at a million. Or the scorpion pepper, that's the ingredient in this, you get one and a half million. And then the reapers, two million. The first thing I'd like to note is that capsaicin is not soluble in water. So when it's in a mixture, it'll be floating around in that water. It's not, it does not dissolve in water. You have to have something like an ethanol uh, or isopropyl alcohol to actually dissolve uh, capsaicin and to get it into its purest form. So I'm going to do two things. I'm going to do cayenne pepper, which I have here, and I'm going to do red savina pepper, which I have here. I have two glass containers that I am going to put those in. And then one, I'm going to show you the difference of what comes out after that the, the capsaicin has been extracted from these two peppers. Now what I have here is a scale. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out the same amount of hot pepper sauce in both one of these. I'm going to do it in grams uh, because, well, that's what the scientific world uses. And that's what I was taught in engineering school. Alternatively, if you want, you can use the actual peppers. Um, what you want is to powder it up into its finest form. Uh, you don't want to use a fresh pepper. Uh, use dried ones if you can. Uh, the fruit, actually the outside, has the least capsaicin in it. The pith, which is that white part that holds the seeds, and the seeds is where the bulk of the capsaicin's found. In fact, some of those hot peppers, you can cut the pith and the seed out and eat the outside and look like a hero. Um, or you can take the pith and seeds from a not so hot pepper and eat that and it'll burn your face off. Um, but I didn't feel like drying peppers. I didn't feel like grinding them up. So 
I happen to have these two here, cayenne pepper, and you know, I don't know, it's like 30,000 or 50,000 Scoville units, and then red Savina, which is half a million. So I'll measure out the same amount. If you've ever worked with hot peppers, the, the smell from that can get your eyes running, the nose running, and it's, it's not good. Cayenne pepper, ground cayenne pepper here. I have ground red Savina. Next thing is it has to get diluted down with denatured alcohol or 100% ethanol, and this is gonna get really bad. So I'm gonna pour this in it, and then I'm going to go put it outside. So <clears throat> hopefully I'll be okay, because did I mention you should be using safety goggles and gloves during this? Well, there, I mentioned it again, if I didn't already. So, whew, ah, mm. And then once it hits that, uh, I don't know, I may have to evacuate the room. Okay, this is no chemical reaction. This is a physical separation. We're putting something that dissolves in something that dissolves it. Just like you would put sugar in water. I'm gonna stir this up. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> now I know you're like, why are you mixing this into the other? You're actually impacting the scientific experiment. Yeah, I mean, kinda. But look, if it's 10 times more capsaicin, am I really impacting it? So anyway, we're gonna dissolve this. Then... All right, well, I'm back 24 hours later. This has been sitting. I did a major no-no and some of spilt on my hands. And then I washed them and then I touched my eyes. So if my eyes are a little red right now, that's because I have half a million Scoville units in it. Second thing, uh, I upgraded this coffee funnel, uh, coffee filter was not working. So I went to the hardware store and got some cheesecloth, which isn't as picky about particle size so you can supposedly be able to pour some more through so I just picked this up at Lowe's I had this funnel and uh, so I'm just going to put this in here and then this this is the red Savina habanero the half million and this this stuff is really spicy oh man you can't let it touch anything. This denatured alcohol just like ruins everything. It's on my kitchen table. I gotta fix that before my wife finds out. Yeah. Don't send her the link to this video. Are you crazy? Okay. She always finds out about my hot pepper exploits after the fact. You did what? Yep. We've been together for over 30 years. Uh, married for over 28, so she knows me by now. All right, this alcohol, yeah, don't let it touch anything. It's it literally is paint thinner. So you can see the color differences there. The red Savina is actually brown, and the cayenne pepper is very red. So the next thing that we have to do is evaporate off all of the alcohol. So I'm actually going to go get a couple of glasses. We're gonna, uh, cups, solo cups, we're gonna weigh those. And then we're going to put the alcohol in the solo cups, which isn't that where alcohol belongs in solo cups, yeah. And, uh, but this, you definitely don't wanna drink this stuff. And then uh, we'll evaporate it off, weigh the cups, and see. Okay, I couldn't find any solo cups, so I found these. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right, let's see how much they weigh. 20 grams of frou fruit glasses. That one's 19 and a half. This one's 20.0, so there's a half gram difference. This one is a half a gram lighter. It's so hot, you should wear goggles and gloves. When you do this, you should wear goggles and gloves. All right, so now I have the two things, 100% alcohol. Got to evaporate that off, then we'll weigh it. Well, YouTube Nation, I ruined the experiment. It's day three. This was almost dry. I put it in the microwave for like 15 seconds, and this happened. And it went all over the top of my microwave. Um, there's crystals in there. 
but I don't see anything white. It's just the color of the red Savina habanero. So maybe because it wasn't filtered well through the cheesecloth. And then this is the cayenne. It's all orange. I poured it. All right, YouTube, I'm not going to let that fail go away that easily. So I am back with new tools. I have little ramekins. Uh, this one's labeled Sabina. This one's labeled Cayenne. And uh, I put the mass on the back. So 139.4 grams, 146.4 grams of this one. Not going to get scientific on this. These actually fit on the scale. So the coffee filters did not fit on the scale last time. So that was part of the problem. Now look, you're supposed to have crucibles that you can fire, get the moisture out, weigh them, mass them, put the stuff in it, and then get rid of it. Um, but look, I don't have crucibles. These ramekins are awesome. They're microwave proof. And just watch this video right here. You'll see what's awesome about these ramekins. I'm gonna mix it in the Couve cereal bowl. This is a large cereal bowl. Um, these bowls are actually awesome. Check out this review video here for these things. But because peppers really create fumes when you're heating them up, I needed something I could put in my grill. So I'm gonna put these bad boys in my grill, let the alcohol uh, dry off there. The fuel, the denatured alcohol. Also, I upgraded to a metal teaspoon. Um, so I could be a little bit more precise. And uh, man, I gotta tell you, I, I actually dipped my finger in the leftovers of the Red Savina and that kept my tongue hot and my mouth hot for like 15 minutes. So I did a pretty good job of pulling the capsaicin out. There was just the most tiny little bit on my finger. And it was 10 or 15 minutes before I stopped feeling that uh, intensity. So, okay, all right. The mass is reading the same, that's nice. So I am putting in, so far we have 15 grams. That's, that sounds like a good number. 15.2 grams. All right, I'm gonna write that down. 15.2 grams, oh no, 15.1 grams, okay. All right, then on the other one, oh, that pepper. <laughs> Man, mm -hmm. should be wearing gloves, probably a mask. Oi! Man, okay, so we're, let's put in 15 grams of this. So this would be 161.4. 161.4. All right, good. That's 15 grams. And that one. Exactly, oh wait, yes, 15.1 grams. Okay, so now we've got our Savina and cayenne pepper in here. <coughs> Jeez, where's my exhaust fan? Please use an exhaust fan. Don't have one. Okay, here's a funnel. Let's add... All right, literally the worst chemistry guy in the history right here. You can't be transferring between all these different containers and expect accuracy. Well, good. I'm not expecting super accuracy. I already know it's going to be off. But I'm trying to make some pure, pure capsaicin. Got to get that capsaicin out. All right, I'm going to go through these two. Mm -mm, don't mix. I'm going to go throw these two in the microwave for a second. Got my dirty up grill. But you can see the liquid level is dropping. It's evaporating. Ruined the third batch. The third batch. Ah. The level is dropping. Taking it slowly the fourth time. I don't want to burn it again. Using 225. 
All right, so I want to give you a close-up of both of these. You can't read. This is the Cayenne one. This is the Red Savina one. And it's literally like a glaze inside of the ramekins. It's very, very minimal. And, and in fact, I think one of them's got a lot more residue. Capsaicin's supposed to be white. These are both colored, the pepper. So something came through that was dissolved in the alcohol. That I don't know what it is. So... After I finally got this crucible dried for the fourth time, I have 2.9 grams of content that was added to this. After the cayenne pepper was um, dried completely, I have 2.5 grams that is in this. That is very close. That is only a 20% difference between the two. And this was supposed to be 10x. I have not sampled uh, the spiciness of the stuff that's in here or the stuff that's in here. Uh, I do plan on doing that. One thing I can tell you, it is powerful. Um, go through my video if you want to make it. Go skip forward to the fourth time I did it. That will show you the best way. And then you can make some pure capsaicin. The, uh, my buddies and I who were in those uh, pepper videos, we were joking around that we should make some uh, capsaicin tabs. Like we're going to drop some C. And uh, one of them was like, you can change the dosage. And you know, your friends can have uh, different dosages of it at your party. <laughs> I don't know if it'll go over well, but uh, hey, hope you enjoyed this. Took me four days. Got burnt. Burnt stuff. Subscribe. Click on notifications. And uh, leave a comment below. If you have a question, I'll answer it. Just post it. All right. We'll see you.